even though we have not reached a point where we have defined malware analysis. It is basically a process of understanding what a malware does. Malware is developed by the hacker using some programming language. The easiest way to understand what an application does is by reading the code line by line. But as we discussed earlier, it is not the actual file with set of instructions that will be downloaded by an end user. Instead, it will be a compiled version, that is a binary file. So the common sense says, if you want to understand what a program does, then read the instructions in the binary file. However, it is not so easy. The process of compilation changes the set of line by line instructions into a machine readable format. If we open a binary file in a text editor, this is what we get. Most of it seems gibberish, except for few traces of readable words, which we call strings. Compare it to a real life analogy. Let's bring back our pizza example. Before the pizza is cooked, we can easily identify all the ingredients that goes into making the pizza. But once it undergoes the process of cooking, how much of the ingredients can we get back? The raw materials would have changed their form. Ingredients like salt will not be visible. That is, it is almost impossible to get ingredients back once the pizza is cooked. Similarly, once a program is written and compiled, it is very difficult, if not impossible, to get the original set of line by line instructions. This is why malware analysis seems difficult. The process involves the use of various tools and skill sets that will help in understanding the function of a malware from such binary files.